be pleased to know that this is a very serious arc video where I demonstrate elite tactical knowledge. Shh, go to sleep, go to sleep. Never find myself in any sort of trouble whatsoever. There's at least six pixels of health there and take the game very, very seriously. Okay, maybe not too seriously, but if there is one thing that I am serious about, it's been seriously overwhelmed by not just the support on this ARC series, but the flooding of people that have become YouTube members and patrons. I genuinely cannot thank you enough. But today's story starts with some really professional high tier stuff. Keybinds. That's what you were all shouting at me for when it comes to doing whistling. Apparently, I've got to keybind something. Uh, oh, you follow me. T and Y. Apparently, it's already done. D are you going to follow me now? Ah. Oh! Stay. Come here. <laughs> no way. Wait, wait. No. Stay. No, not you. You fuck off. And then... Come here! Wait, what was that I just did? What the hell is that? Emotes? Hide, hat, salute. Laugh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I actually do them? Emotes. Cheer. No way, this is a thing. Summer batch? Oh! <laughs> that was the most flamboyant backflip. Wait, what else is that? Mosh! Massive dinosaurs, beautiful light rays, and now Fortnite emotes. This game continues to surprise me. We had ventured out to gather a bunch of wood as we wanted to add to our castle. If you haven't caught up with last episode, link is in the description. It wasn't the best time, was it? No! It was. Uh, it was a struggle mentally. Uh, we, uh, we died twice after dealing with an enormous amount of crashes. So we're really hoping that today is going to be a little bit more sex uh, sexful. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is ain't, this ain't that kind of channel. You have to uh, <laughs> check my uh, OnlyFans for that link in the description. You actually checked, didn't you? You actually went to the description there. You horny bastard. There are many links in my description, but alas, an OnlyFans is not one of them. But big, long, girthy pillars of wood was exactly what I needed though, as we were going to add some of the wooden pillars to our castle. Oh, Guido, cry. Right, here we go. Pillars. I don't know. I just think they make things look... A little bit more castly. I don't know, less like a cardboard box. We spoke about doing this, these bits here on the corner in, a, in another episode, but I don't know. I think it just looks different. You feel me? So let's add them on. We've got loads, loads. Of, now we're getting the metal tools and we've got the sickle and whatnot. I have genuinely lost headwork. Um, but now we've got everything. It's kind of, it's much, much quicker for us to be able to get all of these um, resources. So. I don't mind splashing out a little bit. We're treating ourselves a little bit. I mean, it's got to be done. Yeah, we could use the wood for perhaps on something a little bit more useful, but in reality, this is fine. This is fine. Seriously, though, where is Hedwig? He was following me. And now he isn't. There you go. Why? Why did he stop following me? If he loses sight of me, does he just panic? Is he like a 12-year-old butch with his mum in the supermarket? When he got to the till and she was like, Oh, I just need to go get some milk. And leave me at the till. And I would be shaking with fear. 
Mom, please go back. That was what I had. All right, bro. Can't right. Oh, I can press the. Wait. Come over here. This way. No, don't come inside. And then. Halt. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. Look at that. See that? That looks good. Look, look. On the ledge, we got that. I think. I don't know why. I think that looks awesome. Is that just me or does that look awesome? We could put the pillars, like, two more pillars, like, um, there. And make it as, as an actual room. But then I feel like we don't have much space running down this way. So maybe not. Maybe by the stairs. Yes. That looks more realistic, doesn't it? All right, hold on. I just need to get a little bit more thatch. Using metal tools was night and day to the primitive stone tools that I was using up until recently. With the stone tools, it felt like I was gathering resources for an age. But with these metal tools, it was like gathering resources, but slightly less of an age. Yes, all about this. Look at this. And then that goes... Ju yeah, just... Where was it? There? Yes. Oh, oh, we could put them all the way up to the top. That would look dope. Oh, it's, oh do I want one there as well? Then it's like hanging the hanging Babylons of garden. Nah. Nah, that's fine. They're just like, naturally. No, fuck it. Fuck it. I need to. Uh, let me pick the torches up and then we'll, we'll do that. Right, I'll get you. I'll put. I'll put these back because we like the torches. Put these back. Those. Oh my god, that looks like an architect has actually designed it. No. Oh. Oh, and then look, look. This looks like where you would put a structural pillar. That looks architectural. Oh, we get the little rings. Not sure about that. Yeah, that looks well professional, that, doesn't it? Well, we could make it like a little airlock. No, we don't need to do that. We got some at the back. I mean, I could place like all of them round here like that, but that's an awful lot of wood. Whoa. Now what? This was a question I had found myself asking a lot. You know when someone gives you a glass of water to drink, you start drinking it, and then about halfway through, as you're gulping the water down, you realize just how thirsty you were? Well, Ark is like that. You see, you don't know how big this game is until you start playing it a little bit. It's only when you actually start to explore that you really get a scale for not just the map, but also the detail in the game. Oh, it's foggy. Look at the fog. I enjoy that. Look at that. Look at that. It's like light shafts, but through the fog. Big fan. Such a pretty game. It's actually quite apt that I saw some fog early in the day, as what we were to attempt next didn't turn out so well, because I didn't have the foggiest of how it actually worked. Water. Water. There are, in the game, th that's not the right button, water tanks and shit. Uh, let's have a quick gander here at the engrams. No, here we are. Right, so down here, somewhere here. There we go. We've got the water tank, the stone water tap, and the stone water intake. The stone intake for a wireless irrigation network provides an unlimited supply of water to nearby structures. So, I, I think that might be a big pipe. And then we can have a water tap that we put at the end of an intake where if we have that all the way down into there, then that works. I don't know how easy or difficult this is going to be, but we are going to give it a go. So we do have a bunch of stone downstairs. So I think we make a water tank a tap. Now, we don't. I don't think that the water tank necessarily needs to be part of this irrigation system. I think you can store water in it. Stone uh, stores rain or manually deposited water and distributes it to nearby structures will connect to other water tanks to form a network. What do you mean distributes it to nearby structures? So, oh shit, cementing paste. We where do we make cementing paste? Is the mortar and pestle, isn't it? 
What do we need for that? Cementing paste. Oh. Chitin and keratin. Here we go. I have 47. Let's make 47. We use the chitin and the stone to craft us some of the cementing paste and then use this paste to craft ourselves the water tank. Oh. How big is it? How big? Not that big. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. We are going to put outside here in the garden. Wait, what's... What's with the weird shimmer? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's what's with... Whoa. What is this? What does that mean? Is that the area that it distributes water to? But what, does that, what does that even mean? We knew this blue shimmer meant something, but we weren't quite sure what. So instead of sticking around and figuring it out, we just moved on to the next thing, which was the water intake pipe. It was smaller than we expected, but nonetheless, we headed down to the lake to see how to use it. Down to the water and see what we do. So my plan and how I expect this to work is we stick the pipe in the water and then we're going to be able to take that massive pipe all the way up to the water tank. And from there, we should, should have a permanent water source. That's how I think this is going to go. Um, or rather, I should say how I expect it. What I think will happen is I'll be wrong. Oh, there we go. Look, it's green. Now, how do I do this in, a, in an aesthetic way? And we, can, we, we can rotate it like that, but... We, we better be able to, like... Go... Can we go up? Hold on, let me try something. Let me just put that there. And then let's say I make another one. Here's one I made earlier. Hence my problem. I presumed... You could just connect one pipe to another and make a big long straw up to the water tank. But I couldn't connect these two together. Now we tried for a minute to figure this out, but we couldn't for the life of us. Eventually, we caved into doing something we don't like doing around these parts. So I allowed myself a cheeky Google. <clears throat> and it turns out that the water works. Oh, there's a supply drop there. Let me chat to you while I um, talk about this. The water works differently in Ark Survival Ascended than it did in Ark Survival Evolved. By that, apparently it runs on Bluetooth. There's no pipes anymore. But I'm so confused about how the water system works. My mouse just died. Here's one I made earlier. So, how the hell do I get a steady supply of water to my base then? If I can't connect it from there, does that mean that you have to build your base within a certain perimeter from water? In which case, I am fucked. Okay. What was that? I've not heard that before. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. Green. Uh, we got that. That. And corn. A big lump of corn, it has the juice, it has the juice. Right. Um, I, so, I'm so confused. How the hell do I get water? I mean, if it rains, I'll be able to get the one with the water collector, but, like, you can see the pipe down here. You can see this blue shimmer. That's nowhere near. Unless... Unless, if I put, like, another... Like a series of wells? Or like the 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 the, the stone collect water what 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 do we call them? The uh water tank. Do I put like a series of them and then that will work? I just don't know. I just don't understand. I really don't know. I think we leave it for now. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but it's there. We decided to pack this idea in and just move on. Having the convenience of being able to drink water out the castle would have been nice, but at this point, figuring out how it all worked was more of a pain in the ass than simply going down the ladder and drinking from the lake. Instead, we came up with another plan. All right. Uh, well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a colossal fail, wasn't it? Uh, what do we do now? I, I'm, I'm so terrified to leave anywhere. Leave anywhere. Every time I leave, something bad happens. Every time I stay here, 
Everything's fine. I feel good. I make progression. Set foot outside of this perimeter of my castle and just shit starts hitting the fan. One thing that a lot of people are telling me to do, though, is craft the... Craft the... Bowler. Wind it up in the throw. I presume this is something that's, like, better than the club for, like, knocking things out. So we're going to go make one. Fiber, stone, hide, and thatch. All right, that seems pretty easy to make. I don't know whether it's like a, like a, like, you know, you got your slingshot, but it's like a Goliath slingshot, maybe. Bowler crafting. Okay. Should I craft a parachute as well? Let's, let's craft a parachute. Why not? How does it work? I don't. Where do I want to use this? What do I want to use this on? Let me try on a rock, see if it's like a slingshot then. So if I... Whoa! Whoa! Yeet! No! Where did it go? Did it go inside the rock? Did it actually disappear? Wait, is it a one-time use thing? I mean, that would probably... No, I'd probably, like... I just done that, considering it's so cheap to make. I'll craft three of them. And then we can kind of see what happens. I don't really know. When people were saying bowler, I thought it was like a bofer. Like a both of these nuts kind of joke. And then I realized that too many people are saying it. That it's probably not that. Do not worry your cotton little socks. We'll be testing the bowler out later. And it goes about as badly as you would imagine. In the meantime though, things had been killing us rather easily. So we decided to have a look through the engrams to see if we could make any armor. Wait a minute. It's Sabretooth. Stop, 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 stop. Chitin 12, 4, and 6. They're okay to make, no? Armor 50. 50. We need to hunt some bugs, troops. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't mean to get that. Oh my god. Look at that. Be Oh god, there's so much. I can't. I can't. This is mental. I can't. This is... Handcuffs? Viewing all of the engrams, it was easy to get overwhelmed with the sheer quantity of craftable items in the game. We needed to focus up and just go one step at a time. And today, these steps are taking us in search for bugs. Yeah. We've been left a lot... We've been, like, west a lot more than we've been east, so... We'll hug the coast as we go east. Um, and then basically, for the first time ever, are looking for trouble. Like, actively wanting to find the bugs so that we can kill as many as we can. We're going to need a lot of shit. Oh, shit, we used 47, didn't we? I mean, we have some left over in the mortar and pestle, but pro probably not enough. But if I go equipable... Oh, it's at the smithy, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. There is nothing better than just going exploring in this game. I was pretty confident I had only seen one or two biomes at this point. We had largely spent our time down on the south coast, but for good reason, it was beautiful. Sure, there were some creatures that were out here to kill me, but if you just ignored them, it was almost paradise. Oh, what happened? You're, you're a zombie one. This one's infected. Is it? Is it infected? Come on, where are the bugs? I don't actually want them. Bugs. <gasps> oh, God. Bugs Life. Any of you watch Bugs Life? Maybe if you were born in the 90s like me. Bugs Life was... Was that? That was a Pixar. Yeah, it was a Pixar one, wasn't it? The one about the ants and the locusts? 
God, that was a fun movie. I always remember them seeing the... Yeah, they made the telescope out of the raindrop. I don't know. You know, the telescope out of the raindrop. And they had the big thing at the end. And you look through it. And I always thought that the, the, the raindrop looks really tasty when I was a kid. I don't know why I thought about that just now. That was a quality film. And they get the little... Not the not... Uh, what, what do you call them? They're not dandelions. They're little things where you go... Shit, what was that? Uh, you go... And they're like flying around with one of them. And then they make that big bird thing. God. Why, when are we going to see a live action Bugs Life film, actually? We're getting all these mad remakes for all of the other stuff. I want a live action Bugs Life. Yes! There you are! I only got six. Did I hit it with the wrong thing then? There's got to be some more. I don't know why you're on the ground. Uh, maybe pickaxe? Is that the best? Nine. Oh. And now let me try that. 23. Death. Ooh. Ooh. It looks bad. You don't look for it, but then again, it's not, it's not attacking. It was at this point that I immediately lost my train of thought as I had remembered what we had crafted earlier, the bowlers. What does this do? That has a tick. Wait. Wait a minute. Give me berries. Give me the red berries. There we go, some red berries. Okay. Does this not come out? Oh. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh god, wait, that's a raptor. Is it? I don't know. I want to give this a go. Okay. You look awesome. I would cut. Oh! Ah! I didn't do anything. W would you like some berries? Wait, are you stuck? Oh. Oh, I don't have a club. I don't have a club. I don't have a club. How do I make a club? How do I make a club? Club, 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 club. Club, club. 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 I wonder why he was just looking at me. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't go away. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, don't, don't run. Don't hate me either. Uh. It's, he gets stuck, and then, if I just twat him on the head with this. Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah, you can, you can attack me, can't you? Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Iguana. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, please. Iguana. Oh. oh no 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 no! no. Ah. Did I miss? Did I miss? No. Wait, I've got an idea. Wait, if somebody told me if you but can I not access his inventory? No. Shit. Okay, just run, just run, just run. How many? How much chitin did we get? Thirty-eight. That might be enough. Okay. <laughs> that was fine. It wasn't really fine, was it? But we did manage to figure out how the bowlers work and what they actually did. Now, all we needed to do was make sure that we didn't run into anything else. Oh, wait, so if we're getting chased by like raptors. Oh, shit. Not good. That's not good. I can hear another one. I am poisoned. I will not die. Where are you? I will not die. I will not die. I will not die. Oh. Life.
light shafts. Oh, it's so pretty. Get that one off. I don't want to die, but, it, but it's so pretty. Let me craft more bot. Can I craft more bowlers? No, I need some hide. Right, we're going to go back and I'm going to make like 10 bowlers. It's fine. We're not going to die. We've got loads of health. Absolutely loads. There's at least six pixels of health there. More than enough. And I think we might have enough chitin. Between this and what we have in... Um... Oh. What's going on here? That looks like a raptor. I can't afford to get in any sort of trouble. I wonder what... I, the, the, the border thing was weird. I looked at it and I thought he was looking at me like, the fuck did you just do to me? But it was confused. I didn't realize that it was... Um, it, it would like immo immobilize it. Oh, look, there's a blue one there. By hugging close to the water, but not too close as to let any piranhas have a nibble at me, we managed to make it back home to safety with the chitin in our inventory. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> this really is a special. You know, sometimes when you play a game and it's like, it's good. Great game. Uh, 7 out of 10. Was there anything bad with it? No. No, nothing at all. That was just good game. It was just good. And then you get games like this where if you're playing it, you know. You know that it's special. And I feel like that's what this is. I just don't know why it's taken me so long to play it. I mean, dinosaurs. Base building and light shafts. What more do you want? What more do you want in life? We're back. We survive. I just shit in my own house. Pick up. <laughs> yeah, I'll just carry my shit. Okay, why don't I put my shit in here? <laughs> Stop it from decaying. Um, right, there we go. Right, I, I, I need some more wood. Let's get all of the fires going in here. Let's let's make it. Let's make it proper. Oh no, we want uh, spark powder. Uh, all right. Let's get some lights on in here, shall we? Uh, we'll put that there, but then just take some out. Take that. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. And then I can go there. Get that lit. Beautiful. Get my little ones up here in the bedroom. This is so cool. I enjoy this immensely. Light fire. There we go. Looking a little bit brighter now. There was a fire on. There was a roof over our head. Our belly was full. And we had enough chit in to build almost all of the armor set. Life was good, man. I think we get... The chest piece, the leggings, the helmet, and then we can't get anything else. We have to then wait until we get 32 more. Oh, this is, oh my god, this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be exciting. <laughs> this is like actual armor though, like like Skyrim. What was that? There was the, the, the armor in Skyrim, which was like badass looking i think it was like dragon armor no, it wasn't it wasn't called dragon though it was called something and it just looked cool it was like black and it kind of reminds me of this and definitely let's wear this instead shall we so we'll put that on see here see here this looks like it's like metal <laughs> and then it's definitely shit in there this still looks awesome right put that on oh my god i look like a flesh man Look at me. I just look like those body parts. <laughs> I, oh, God. Hedwig scared me then. I look I look kind of cool, though. I look badass. I mean, I do need some shoes. But we uh, we need to get some more chitin. But am I fuck going to the beach in the nighttime? I don't want to do that anymore. No. Why, why is my ass wobbling? Indeed. We had learned our lesson about going out into the nighttime on foot. I was going to remain patient and wait for the sun to rise before we ventured back out in search for more bugs. But we didn't want to waste the night away, so we came up with a plan to be a bit more productive. We were going to build out our four turrets on top of the castle in an attempt to make them look more turrety. To do this, we would of course need to collect some more resources, so off we popped into the night. 
I, again, I'm going to sound like a broken record because I keep talking about the game and how pretty it is. But the number one thing for me when it comes to a game that's like Ark is atmosphere. If the game has good atmosphere, it can be short on so many other things. And it doesn't really matter if it's got that atmosphere. Look at all the foliage. It's gone weird. But when you get a game that is like Ark, where you get this insane atmosphere, where you genuinely feel like you're there, and then combine it with the stunning graphics, it is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. I, I feel like I'm, I'm in this real honeymoon phase right now. I'm like, I just love Ark so much. It's the best thing in the world. And then the seasoned Ark veteran, Ark veteran is just going to be looking at the video like this. Because they loved Ark once and then something's happened or they've played it just to an extent where all that they've done has been abused. We might get to that point, but for now, for now we're chilling. We're having a good time. I don't know if I have enough, but my idea here is to make... I'm literally running out. No, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a couple short. Fuck my life. Well, isn't that infuriating? But... If I make them out one like that and then build the quarter wall up like around it, so we have the the, 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 the quarter floor and the quarter wall, that is going to look like a turret now. Like, is, does that kill me? No, let's go out this way. It should look like a turret. Like, once I've built that up, that looks like a turret. Yes! shit now but it will look really good it will look really good what am i short on what do i need ha! wood come on headwood head head wood <laughs> oh i'm good i am so good so off we popped once again into the woods in pursuit of more wood this time though we ran into something Oh, shit. Hedwood, you do not need to get into this situation. I have everything under control, dude. I'm going to accidentally put an arrow in your head. Oh, shit. I'm genuinely scared to shoot. There we go. Hedwood. I don't know what damage you were doing then, but it wasn't a lot. Baby. Imprint. Yes. Oh. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Name your Dilphosaur. Uh. Um. What? So, uh. <laughs> and then I'm listening to the Lord of the Rings at the moment. So. That. Uh, yes. Yes. Put that away. Put it away. Are you mine now, following Dino? Owner. He is mine. He is. Dude, you're level 75. You're a ju- Wait. Are you actually growing as we're, as we're talking right now? Hell yeah. We got another dino. We got Hedwig and Precious. <laughs> I figured if I named it something like Precious, then I'd be more inclined not to accidentally kill it. Not that I'm inclined to kill the, the you know, my children. It just, it happens. Oh, we've got a supply drop down here by the looks of it. Hedwig, where you at? Right, let me, uh, let me give you these, please. Let's go and have a look at this. Save the game. We have a Dilf. Oh, we have a Dilf in our arsenal. Oh. 
How spooky does this look? Holy shit. So bright. More and pestle. Meet me uh, a torch. We'll take that patch. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What's, what's getting attacked? I can't see. Pe Pe Pegasus marks. Oh, precious kill something. Precious, precious. You're at half health, dude. Let's maybe not do that again. Right. Okay. Um How do we how do we get back up? How do we how do we get back up? We had come for wood, but returned with a juvenile dilf. Our family was ever growing, and by the looks of things, Precious had some bite to him. We would want to keep an eye on this one. Right, what do you eat actually? We we're gonna need to make sure we give you Oh shit, you're starving. Here you go. Do you eat that? Yes, you do. Oh, God, that was a close one. That was a close one. <laughs> Dude, he was on like a pixel of health, a pixel of food. Shit. That's so good, though. We gave him a bunch of meat. I could have been his mum. No, I didn't chop her up, so that's fine. Right, back in here. Right, I've got enough uh, wood. I should, should be able to crack on. Right, welcome on in, Precious. You ain't been here before, have you? You're actually kind of terrifying. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Now. Halt. And they just wait. Now I'm going to save the game because last episode, anytime we interacted with this door, it crashed the game. Nice. Okay. Hey. Welcome home. We got two. We got two of them. Look at you both. Oh, that's cool. I kind of like that. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you are minging. I've never seen... Well, you, you guys have tried to eat me before, but I've never seen one this close. Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> Look at his eyeball, man. Are they anatomically correct? Wow. Anyway, I'm going to build a turret. Let's have a look. That's where we were, wasn't it? That's where we were. With the wood that we had just collected, we were now able to finish our turrets. For each one, we built around the existing floor to make it wider. Then, using the quarter walls, we built around the expanded floor. Our hopes for this were it would make the castle look a bit more castle-y. We wanted a bit of grandeur, and we were confident that this was going to bring it. I think that's it. I think that's it. We can't actually jump over them. Right, let's let's not look together. Let's keep our head down and then have a look. That's what they always say. I went to um India when I was 16 for an expedition. And as part of the expedition for our R and R week, we actually went to the Taj Mahal in Agra. Beautiful, beautiful thing. But what they told us to do is that you when you arrive, whatever you do, don't look at it. Don't look at it. And then you basically, you go through like the entrance bit and then you, you, we walked like around, like forward and around a little bit. And they said, there's this specific point when you walk and you go through an archway. And if, and, and this is when you're like perfectly in front of the Taj Mahal. And if you walk and then as you go through the archway, you look up, it just appears in all of its glory. And it's that kind of, boom, kind of moment. And that is what I want with this. This is going to look exactly like a castle. Okay. Are you ready? We're going to we're going to look down here and then when we look up it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Okay. You ready? For Castle Dodino. No, 
<laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, in my head. In my head, I thought that would make it look more like a castle. Does it? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> wow, that's... um, Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's, it's almost like the... The bits are too wide. They could have done with being like half like width, but yeah, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't quite as good as the Taj Mahal was. <laughs> oh, I was so bad at the game. There's genuinely thousands of people watching me just make fuck up after fuck up with this game. Don't give me uh, the fact that I have a thousand people, well, a thousands of people watching me. You, you will never ever be able to truly understand what that actually means to me. However, <laughs> however, that's cool and all when I'm doing cool things. Hedwig, would you please get your head at the base? There you go. It's cool when I'm doing things, but the, now maybe, maybe not. I mean, it did look like a castle if a four-year-old had drawn one but i had invested far too much time and resources in it to change though so it was staying now we had seen the sun rise again it was time to head back out in search for some more bugs a couple more bugs would give us enough chitin to be able to craft the remaining pieces of our armor set tell me that that doesn't look like pride rock Another one from Lion King, where Simba goes to the top, and then Hans Zimmer just goes fucking mental. I, I want to go and have a gander at that, actually. That looks like there might be a place for it with a note. No? We got any creepies in there? No, it's relatively shallow water. So that should be fine. I bet you there's a note over there. I hate how slow you swim. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, where are the fucking piranhas? I know you're out here. Oh, God. Oh, God, I don't miss this. I was watching um, ah, some, a guy play some Nautica the other night. Connie, I think he's called. Connie, it's Connie. Connie. Um... And because uh, I, I never like Ark, I don't watch and I won't watch any playthroughs while I'm um, playing the game. But one of the things that I really enjoyed about beating Subnautica was the fact that I could actually watch. Sub <laughs> oh, I thought that was a game then. Uh, that I could actually watch Subnautica content. So, um, but when I was watching it, I was like, I'm going to be real with you. I do not miss playing it. I do not miss playing it. Ooh. That's, that's squeaky bum time. Look at that. That is oh, absolutely not. I presume... <laughs> yeah. I presume that's the end of the map. And I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to have to go out there for any reason. I really fucking hope so. I really hope we don't have to go deep. I'm getting better at the shallows. Because it's crystal clear. If it were murky, it would be a bit more of a problem, I feel. But it's not, so it's fine. <sighs> If it was deep, that would be a problem. Oh, sorry, if it was murky and deep, that would be a problem. Okay, there's no... Um, whatchamacallits? I thought there'd be a note here. It just looked like a POI. Okay. Oh! We'll take that. We will take that. There's that thing again. I kind of want one. But no, no. No, we're here for bugs. Bugs and bugs alone. Bugsy Malone. He's a he's a British rapper, if you don't if you didn't get that joke. Just laugh. All you need to do is laugh and then like the video. And if you laughed at that and you're not subscribed, just listen. I think it's like 85% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. How can you sit there? God knows how long we're into the video at this point and not subscribe. Save the game because I don't know. I'm just scared to interact with anything at this point. What do we have? 
Oh, oh. <gasps> cooking pot, but various ingredients with water to make soup, stews, and dyes. Fucking love soup, man. I really love soup. I'll take it all. I'll take the lot. Awesome. I really, I, I don't know. It's obviously getting into winter and it getting colder. I'm, I'm eating a lot more soup. Do you drink soup or do you eat soup? Question. Is um, cereal a soup? If you think about it, right? Don't, I know your initial reaction is like, no, of course it's not much. But if you really think about it, what's the difference between minestrone soup and um, cereal? Oh, what, your soup's hot. But I'm like, oh, does it have to be? Like, is that the definition of soup, something being hot? Because if not, then a bowl of sugar puffs is soup. Same as minestrone, chicken noodle soup. It's just a broth with some items in it. Hell, you could, e you could even just have normal, like soup is just like, um, like without bits in it, like a tomato soup. Does that mean that milk is a soup? Intellectual, intellectual. Don't kid yourself on that is milk a soup is an easy question because it isn't Regardless of what temperature and viscosity is needed from a consumable in order to be classified as soup We kept moving forward until eventually We found some more bugs and we even helped out some friendly dinos along the way Oh my god! Yes! Triceratops! Fuck yeah! Oh, he protected me! Hey, hey, watch the baby! Yes, lad! Go on, get the whole family! Get the whole family! Get him gone! Get him gone! Can I just. Can I get my arrows back, though? Hello. I'll do. It. Shit, shit. Whoa, 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 the tracking on the. Oh god, there's more of them. There's more of them. Demo, demo, Foden. Yeah, seventy-eight. Oh my god, no wonder they were difficult to kill. Fuck yeah. Okay, what if we went further along this way? We've never really been down the coast this side. Maybe we'll do that in search for bugs. <gasps> bugs! Yes! Come here. Come here. Come here, then five. Where's your body? Where's your carcass? What? Come here. No, five. 31 more, please. Yep. <laughs> 42. And another one. Extras for repairs. I can't believe you guys are friendly. I've been killing you this whole time, and you guys are friendly. Any more bugs? Oh, it kind of intrigues me what down there. We genuinely have so much of the map to like <laughs> to see. Oh my god, there's so much. But we um, oh, what the hell, Raptor? How did you die? I'll take your shit. Thank you very much. Um, we have so much that we need to do and see and explore and uh, all sorts, but alas, it takes me so <laughs> it genuinely takes me so long to do anything that I just run. Ugh. See that? That's a no. That's a no from me. Um, it takes me so long to do anything that whenever I'm recording, like I'll be recording for <laughs> like nearly three hours now. Everything that you see in today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken me three hours to achieve. 
Not, not good, is it? Not good. Not good. But we're going to go back. We're going to make the final two bits of armor. And then we can stall some of the chitin to, um, to repair with. Winner, winner. Oh, I can protect this guy as well. Back off, bitch. Yes. Oh, did I hit the wrong one then? No. Good. There we go. I saved you. I saved you. Oh, no. I hit you with the arrow. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. My beef is not with you. My beef is not with you. My apologies for the for the uh, for the misfire there, homie. I'm just gonna leave. Oh. Is that a raptor? That's an actual raptor. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. I'll help. Protect the little one. Protect the little one. No. Yes. We did it. We did, yeah, you fucking teabag him. One tap him. No, I, that, that was my fault. I got a little bit too close there. But yeah, you get him. No, he, he's coming for me. Look. No, I did it. My <laughs> Dude, leave me alone. My beef was not with you. I helped him. We should definitely take one of them soon. That would be useful. All right, anyway. Where are we going? Back home. Back home. We had been as far east as we had ever been. And we'd lived to tell the tale. Better than that, we had helped some dinosaurs along the way and decreased this island's raptor population. All in all, I would call that a pretty successful trip. All that was left to do was to craft the remaining two pieces of the chitin armor. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> that was quite far for some bugs. But we did it. We finally did it. Right, so what bits are we missing? It's the gloves and the... Um, the shoes, I think. So let's craft both of these. I hope it's both of them. I'm almost certain it is. Um, here we go. Fantastic. God, look at my inventory everywhere. It's shocking. I wish it was a dinosaur that could do your inventory management for you. Right. Equip and equip. Fully armored. Fully, not fully good. Let's calm down a little bit, but fully armored. At least. Um, there's probably some better armor in the game, I'd imagine. But for now, that chitin is pretty good. Kind of like it. looks badass. It really does. And that, that's a lot of protection. It has taken a bit of a beating. Is that just from the flies and the triceratops? If so, it really doesn't have the best um, durability. But it is what it is. Anyway, listen. It is time for me to end this episode here. Let me give you a nice view as I just, like, say my goodbyes. Um, I feel like that went okay. It was better than last episode. I feel like we made the progression <laughs> by making these horrendous turrets, but also getting the armor. A special, special thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons. Honestly, guys, you are the best. Thank you so much for your support, but most importantly, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>